Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aspen Tech channel. Today we will learn how to simulate a decanter or a three phase separator in Aspen Hysis for the recovery of solvent. In the problem statement, we have been given a feed mixture in which ethanol, water, and cyclohexane are present in the mole percentage of 35, 6, and 59% respectively. The flow rate of this feed is 1 kg mole per hour, temperature is 25 degree centigrade and pressure is 1 bar. So going to Aspen Hysis, first we need to do is to select component ethanol water cyclohexane add and as we have formed the chemical system at low pressure in our previous video whose link will be showing to you in description and in the suggestion right now we had selected uniquack and in vapor model we had selected rk going to simulation simply write three phase and you see three phase separator is placed do the connections feed vapor liquid one and liquid two not solved because we haven't given any information of feed so 25 degree centigrade one bar one kg mole per hour molar composition is 0.35 for ethanol 0.06 for water and 0.59 for cyclohexane click ok and you see this bar has turned green means this has been converged if you go back to conditions and check the vapor is zero and the quantity of liquid 1 is 0.456 kg mole per hour and the quantity of liquid 2 is 0.454 kg mole per hour going to composition you see that liquid 1 is enriched in cyclohexane in feed its composition was 59 mole percent while here its composition is 78.18 mole percent so it means that this liquid 1 contains our solvent which is cyclohexane and it can be recovered back to the system. Liquid 2 is enriched in ethanol. As you see that here the ethanol was 0.35, but now here the ethanol is 0.5868, So this is how a decanter or a three-phase separator is solved in Aspenhysis that you have to just give the right information of feed and it will give you the answer of product. So it means its degree of freedom is zero. So we want to add the composition data over here in the simulation so what we will do we will right click and add workbook table click here what we want to add material streams data composition or energy streams data i want to add here compositions data so what i will do just click composition then select composition data is placed over here as well which gives information about feed paper liquid one and liquid two so that's all from my side for today's simulation please do watch the video like the video and Subscribe the channel Aspen Tech channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned.